Don't you love it when you record a video and then you have to re-record it because the mic wasn't plugged in all the way? Fuck! Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is the second time I'm shooting this video because the mic wasn't plugged in properly and it wasn't picking up audio. So, the first one, completely blank, no audio at all, me just moving around. I wanted to shoot this video today and talk about BMR, so your basal metabolic rate or resting metabolic rate. This is something everyone has. If you were to sit on the couch and blink for a 24 hour period, you would burn a certain number of calories. And this is all based on your age, your weight, and your body composition. My BMR is around 2000 calories a day. That's about 83 calories an hour. That's 1.38 calories a minute. That's not a whole lot. I know a lot of times when we sit down with somebody and we go over our in-body scan with them, whether it's nutrition clients or members at the gym here, they look at that number, your BMR, and they think, oh, if I wanna lose weight, I need to be taking in my BMR or less. Not true. Like I said, your BMR is a certain number of calories that you're gonna burn throughout the day at rest. If your job is extremely physical, you're moving, you're lifting, you're climbing, you're carrying, you need to take in a surplus amount of calories to maintain a certain body weight. If you're exercising on top of that and you're wanting to gain lean muscle, get a little bit stronger, fitter, healthier, you're gonna need to take in a surplus amount of calories for that as well. When I say surplus, I mean finding that balance between gaining weight, maintaining your weight, or possibly losing weight if that's your goal. With over 20 years in the fitness industry, I've seen people try to take in their BMR to lose weight or less than that. And even though they did see a bit of a change in their weight, they ended up gaining it back and more because it wasn't sustainable. Wearing a fitness tracker can give you a little bit better idea of how many calories you're burning throughout the day if it is 24 hour monitoring. If your goal is to gain weight and put on some lean muscle, you need to look at your basal metabolic rate, how many calories you burn in that 24 hour period, plus daily activities, how many calories you're gonna burn doing your daily activities, whether it's work or play. And then if you're exercising, you need to look at that, how many calories you're burning as well. It does take a little bit of trial and error, but you need to find that balancing point if the goal is to gain, maintain, or lose weight. The caveat to not taking in your BMR as your daily calories is if you are extremely over weight so whether you have 100 200 plus pounds to lose you're extremely sedentary and you're taking in an extreme surplus of calories to begin with the takeaways I want you to get from this video are one everyone's gonna burn a certain number of calories throughout the day at rest doing nothing sitting blinking breathing that's it that's enough calories to sustain life two if you're exercising and you have an active lifestyle you're gonna to need to take in more than that BMR to be able to sustain that. And if you wanna see muscle growth and you wanna see better health benefits, you need to be taking in a surplus amount of calories to that BMR. Three, if your goal is to lose weight, you still need to be taking in more calories than what your BMR shows. It's gonna take a little bit of work, a little bit of tracking, a little bit of trial and error, but your goal would be to not have a surplus amount of calories at the end of the day. Four, doing anything drastic that's not sustainable isn't going to help you. One thing I like to ask clients is whatever you're doing now, whether it is your exercise routine or a nutritional regime, do you think you could do this for the rest of your life? If the answer is yes, it's sustainable. If you're seeing progress and keep doing what you're doing with little tweaks along the way. I hope this video helped a little bit to understand BMR a little bit better. And I hope that it makes you a little bit better than yesterday. Thanks for watching.